Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here on YouTube you know me as Epic Fantasy, and this is my latest tutorial. This is how to make a solar system diorama using the FloraCraft Solar System Kit. You can buy this kit in Walmart, in Joanne Fabrics, in Michaels, and all kinds of places like that, or even on Amazon. I've got links in the description of the video. And typically you might build it something like this, which is nice. You arrange the planets around the sun, but we're going to take this to another level. I'm going to show you how to do it this way. Isn't that kind of cool? I'll, I'll walk, In this video I'll walk you through all the steps how to do this and I will show you how to paint those planets. And I also have a link to hop straight to the planet painting if that's what you want. And um, included with this video on my web page is a fact sheet about the planets suitable for all ages. Let's do it. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model rockets, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormTheCastle.com. Let's make something. Alright, so let's take a look at see what's inside the box. You get the wooden dowels, that um, the Saturn's rings, that foam ring is for the sun to sit on. And you get 10 balls of um, styrofoam balls, well, not really styrofoam, but 10 balls of foam to um, for all the various planets. One's the sun, and the the other nine of the planets, the ninth being Pluto, which actually isn't considered a planet anymore, but let's go with it. It's a dwarf planet, so there you go. Now, this is how you arrange them. You can look at this video or the picture to arrange them by size, so you know which one is which. And like I said... You can um, uh, break those uh, dowels and insert them into the sun to form your uh, diorama this way, right? And a couple of things to watch out for is to keep it all balanced so it isn't too heavy on one side or the other. And the size of the planets matter for that. You don't want all the heavy planets on one side. And if you want, you can arrange them by distance from the sun too. So that's kind of cool, but we're not going to do it that way. If you want to do it that way, make sure you follow my painting guide to, to know how to paint them. We're going to do it this way, which I really like. And I'm going to show you all little tips and tricks on how to do this. And you just need one little thing extra. That's a piece of base foam. So pick up, when, when you get the kit, get yourself a piece of base foam too like this. Or like this. See that 18 inch block? And it's about, I think it's almost two inches thick. Get the nice thick one like that. And then cut it. Cut it in half. Something satisfying about cutting foam. Crunchy foam. It's almost like um, packing bubbles. Popping packing bubbles. So now we have the length of our solar system, right? Now the next thing to do is we've arranged, we know which planets are which by the size of them, and we're going to arrange them like this. Now don't glue anything yet, and it's kind of important that you don't glue anything. We're just trying to get the right length of each dowel. But in the back row there you see the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars. I just put in Jupiter, now Saturn. Uranus, and the fact that we didn't we didn't glue them is so we can you know move them around Neptune and Pluto. We can we can move them around without any glue. Don't glue the sticks to the balls yet either, so we can get everything set the way we want it and it looks good. And then we can go ahead and start with some gluing. I'll, I will show you that. But here we go. Here's the planets all lined up. You like it? Looks good. Let's move forward with it. Now you can glue the dowels into the planets and the sun. And if you use, you can use any kind of glue. You can use um, any kind of white glue, PVA glue. Um, you can, if you use hot glue, let it cool a little bit. See, how I'm taking my time there. I'm letting the hot glue kind of cool off a little bit because it can melt the foam and not form a good bond. Now you glue the dowel into the sun or the planet 
but you don't glue it into the base yet and that's to make it easy to paint so glue all of those planets onto the um, dowels and then we'll go ahead and paint them and then once they're painted then we'll glue them into the base or the two base pieces all right you get the idea there but look see um, there's a different glues you can use almost anything and I have included that ring on the rings on Saturn no, don't do that now because we need to paint it there we go so now the painting guide this is where the painting guide starts if you hopped here from the beginning Let's start with the sun and we'll work our way out. Lay out a complete base of yellow on the sun. And if you want, you could add a little bit of orange to it. But I just went to straight yellow. And I considered too adding some sunspots. I didn't do that, but you could add some sunspots to your sun too. Looks good. It's like a big lemon. Okay, Mercury is simply gray. It's funny how the styrofoam has a little bit of a texture to it. It makes the planet come alive. Looks like, see, it makes Mercury look like it's um, cratered a little bit, right? Now Venus. I started with white, white. Like this. Paint the whole thing white. And then add a little yellow. Because it's a cloud covered planet. Covered in toxic clouds. It's the hottest planet in the solar system. Even though it isn't the closest. Greenhouse effect. Ah, Earth. Now this one's fun. I really enjoyed painting Earth. I'll show you how to do it. So it looks good. Even if you don't have any painting skills. Paint the whole thing blue. A nice blue. See that shade of blue is nice. It's very oceany. You know, you can tinker with your blue color, add some white to it if you want to lighten it up a little bit. Now let's add some continents to it. You can use green or blue or brown for this. But you know, be as detailed as you want. I kind of see I kinda of got South America and kinda of got over here when we spin it, you'll see Asia and Europe. <laughs> kind of. But it's small, so I wasn't really that concerned. Just you know, add some continents there. Is that Australia? Right there, Australia? No. Well, it looks good, I like it. Now, let's add the polar ice caps. A little white on top. A little white on the bottom. And this next step is critical. A lot of people don't think of this. But the Earth has an awful lot of clouds. And they show from space. You can see them. So dab on some clouds all over the planet over the oceans, over the continent. See that? That makes all the difference in the world. And we have our little lollipop earth. It's fun. Are you enjoying the project? Are you making the project right now? If you are, send me a, shoot me a, leave me a comment. All right, Mars, orange and red. Easy enough, but there's a little bit more too. So have some fun with some orange, have some fun with some red. Now, as far as paints go, you can use just about any kind of acrylic paint. Um, don't try to use spray paint because a lot of spray paints will actually melt the foam. 
and then add a little bit of light brown or gold. See, that's a gold I got. It's very watery. To um, it kind of tints Mars. Makes it it looks better because if it's just orange and red, it looks too much like a little balloon. But when you do this, it changes it. It gives it I don't know what depth or something. It, it makes it a planet. And then the polar ice cap, uh, polar ice caps, the Martian polar ice caps. They're small, but they're there. Ah, now next is Jupiter. I love Jupiter. This is how to do Jupiter, so it looks good. Paint the whole planet gray. And then use orange and red to form two horizontal bands. One a little north of the equator and one a little south of the equator. And notice how it's not, I'm not really, it's not like I'm painting on a, like a, thick coat like we want to cover it we actually want some of the gray to kind of show through right you're not painting a stripe on it because it's cloud matter it's it's so you, you see mostly red or orange but you also see some gray through it and that makes all the difference in the painting and how it looks See, that's that's nice. So you do two of those, one north of the equator and one south of the equator. And then with some black, try to line the edges of them. See how that black is kind of edging the bands? Try to do some of that. And ha you know, have a little fun with the black. Try to get some lines in there. Like, see, see, uh, a smaller brush probably would have been smart. But that makes a big difference. It, it looks good that way. But brush strokes, long brush strokes, look good on the gas giant planet. That's the key. You don't want solid colors. This isn't like a paint by number. Okay, Saturn. Saturn's pretty easy. You start out by painting the whole thing yellow. And then you add some gold, uh, excuse me, orange. Kind of makes it look gold. Then you look at that. See how the orange is going on there really nice? It get, you get the feeling that this is a gas giant planet when you do that. I like it. Overall, the color scheme here, really easy to do. Just follow my instructions and your planets are going to look really good. See that Saturn? Isn't that nice? I like it. Don't forget, too, to go over to my website for more stuff on this project and also to download the fact sheet. Uh, what's next? Uranus, right here. It's blue and white, light blue and white, like this. And we want it to be a light blue. And you'll, know, you'll see why when we do um, Neptune. We want Neptune to be a darker blue. That's nice. See the brush strokes? There we go. See, Neptune, now we go to a darker blue. And some of that regular blue we had, that light blue. But there we go. A little bit of white. And that's Neptune. And that's fun. One more, one more planet, which is no longer categorized officially as a planet. It is categorized now as a dwarf planet. Because it's actually rather small. There are moons around Jupiter, I believe, that are bigger than Pluto. But there you go. That's um, Neptune. So for Pluto, I used some gold paint here. And then I added some gray. Remember, you want it to be kind of splotchy and in patches. That'll make it look more like a planet. Solid colors don't work well for planets. So, let's, now let's, the background effect is, makes a big difference in this diorama. Go ahead and paint your base black, both pieces.
and then splash on some white paint for stars. And now, don't do the next step until all of that paint is dry. Because wet paint will um, affect the glue. But once that black background, or base ground, I guess you call it, is dry, then you can go ahead and glue in all the various celestial objects. The Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. And finish the whole thing off, a couple of things. Paint those wooden dowels black. It look, look at how different it looks. It almost looks like that planet Jupiter is floating in space, doesn't it? With a black background, you can't see that, that um, stick. It really makes a big difference. So paint those, those dowels black. It adds to the effect very much so. Look at the polar ice cap on Mars. Now add some labels for each planet. And you're done. Look at that. What a beautiful solar system diorama. If you make this project, be sure to send me a picture. I will send you a certificate of contribution and put the picture on my website. Um, if you'd like something like this, here's a project I did years ago that I really love when it comes to dioramas. Um, when it comes to solar systems and dioramas, it's a telescope, right? But it actually it isn't. It's cardboard tubes. You can actually look in there. But it's cardboard tubes. And inside it is the planets. Isn't that fun? I love that project. And here's another solar system project I want you to look at if you're interested in this kind of a thing. This is called an orrery. And I have this tutorial on my website too. With all the patterns and the template and everything. Would you like to learn more about the night sky or how to use a telescope to find things? Well, check out my book. See it with a small telescope. All kinds of fun, interesting uh, things there are you can find easily in the night sky. It's available on Amazon.com. I got a link in the description of my video of this video down below, and it's available at other online uh, retailers too. Thank you.